Hello there everyone and welcome back to the next video for the Clone Wars mock update series. In today's episode I work a little bit on the path that goes throughout the main village and then I also start on one of the other main kind of buildings in this village area. So I hope you guys are excited. It's a pretty exciting episode and without any further ado let's get started. Alright so last episode you saw that I started the path in front of the house over here so just now I have went back in and actually uh, added a whole bunch more to the path and made it move all the way down here. Um, kind of like I mentioned that the plan was, was to keep it uh, connected with this main path over here. So I have went back in um, and added it. This stuff over here is a little thin still, as you can see. Um, so that's not entirely complete yet. I need to make that a little bit bigger. And then of course it's gonna branch off uh, over towards that house uh, over there once I build that. But here is the road. It now goes um, kind of semi all the way through the village. Now I'm just kind of waiting to work on these other houses here, which will be uh, what this episode is about, is kind of this area over here, finishing that up. So as you can see here, path goes all the way all over the place. And then uh, down here, you kind of can see it. I'll get a little closer for you guys here. Right here, I wanted to make it seem like the path uh, actually went over through this and then they carved a trench uh, underneath it. So originally this path would have like went all the way through uh, but it kind of got stopped by this trench here when they dug through the trench. So I made it kind of seem like there's a bunch of, you know, um, some of these tiles, some of these like uh, concrete or pavement um, parts in the road or kind of pebbles. They kind of um, broke. So I have some of them kind of like angled in, um, kind of barely attached to the stud and then kind of pointed them in a bunch of different directions and put some kind of debris down there. So this is kind of supposed to make it seem like the path was originally right there, but then they went through with the trench and kind of carved it out and kind of destroyed part of the path. So that's kind of what that's looking like so far. That's kind of the idea um, behind this kind of portion right here. Here's what the path looks like from this angle over here. As I said, it goes from that door and then goes all the way through over to the entrance to the village. So I definitely now like that the path is a main part of this whole build. So now it goes all the way uh, from the mountain all the way down over through here and over to the edge of the build over here and then like I said that'll branch off uh, over into that other building uh, but we're going to focus on this area for this episode so I'm going to get to work on these two structures but I just wanted to update you guys and show you guys that the path has been added to um, and I'm definitely building the path is actually kind of fun um, I thought it would be a little tedious kind of like the train is a little tedious and not the most fun to build but the road actually is pretty fun to build um, I just love like that medieval style and streets and kind of roads and all sorts of that stuff so uh, I'm going to continue to build right now. All right, so I've started over here in this back corner and I've been sitting around trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to do because I had something in mind and I just didn't really think it was going to work too well. So here's kind of um, what I am starting to come up with for this portion over here. Uh, as you can see, of course, there's still a lot of work to do, but um, essentially what I think I want to do over here is I wanted to make it seem like Stalingrad. Uh, so I looked up some more pictures of Stalingrad and um, I really want to have that destroyed, like, building effect, and I want to just make it seem like it's just um, really, really bombed out and kind of destroyed in lots of areas of this um, village. So kind of wanted, what I have started to do here is um, kind of begin to place a bunch of little uh, kind of ruins of a building here. Uh, they're kind of supposed to be one building, but they're all separated, um, kind of all damaged apart like this, uh, with lots of different... Uh, plates and masonry brick and cheese slopes and slopes to make it look like it's kind of um, damaged. So as you can see, they're all kind of separate. But um, once I finish this, it's going to look like it's kind of um, all one building connected and it just kind of collapsed in on itself. So I'm going to put a lot of different um, debris and rubble all along the floor here. And I'm going to add some more parts to connect these and kind of just make it seem like this building was completely either bombed out by the separatist or um, destroyed during the battle here with, uh, with clones and everything like that. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm going to keep working, but what I want this to be is just a completely destroyed, bombed out um, building. And then on the inside, just have a lot of different destroyed rubble and debris and everything along the inside. So I'm struggling with this a little bit. I didn't think I was going to have this much of a problem, but I'm just struggling trying to figure out how to build it to make it look like uh, kind of that Stalingrad feel where it's just getting, you know, this building was kind of destroyed. So um, I'm going to keep working hard, I'm going to keep going at it, and I'll give you guys an update in a little bit once I have some more progress. Alright, so I spent some time adding a lot more elements to this building to make it more of a 
a larger structure because the last segment I showed you was kind of just a bunch of small little parts spread out throughout the whole thing uh, and it wasn't really going for the effect that I was uh, wanting it to so in a few parts of this building I added a little bit more to it and added some height uh, to kind of make it seem like you know the structure still has some of the part of it intact like it's not completely destroyed there's still some of it still standing so that's kind of what I added in uh, over here so over here on this side I built it up a little bit more and I kind of used the same uh, design from the other building where instead of mixing it all together I did like different patterns and stuff like that so instead of it being all random like some of the watchtowers uh, in this build I made it more uniform so you can see the dark gray spots are all clumped together instead of kind of like um, it's not mixed in with the light gray they're all kind of in their separate uh, areas just to give it some in interesting texture and, and shape to the plate design uh, that's kind of what I was thinking for that so I added it and made it a little bit higher to make this seem like you know the structure still has uh, some stuff to it and then over here I started on another wall uh, as you can see I'll show you on the other side because in here is not what it's supposed to look like it more looks like uh, from the other side is kind of the main view so um, I added to this corner a lot just because like I said I want to make it seem like there was a building here instead of um, you know just a bunch of little parts so uh, I think that looks pretty good I might do the same thing over here but to be honest I do kind of like um, this part over here where it's you know pretty destroyed and I put some rubble down there uh, to, to kind of give that effect of you know parts of the building had just uh, parts of the building had just collapsed all over the place so that's kind of what that was um, so yeah I think this definitely helps I'll show the other side real quick here and here's the other side over here uh, same thing like in the front where I kind of made it more uniformed with the dark gray and light gray so they're all kind of clumped together but still in their separate areas to give it an interesting look and down there on the right you see I put some more kind of the corner had kind of started to collapse so I think I'll add some you know random studs on the ground to make it seem like the building is still there but it's so damaged that it keeps falling apart so like every once in a while you know parts of this building just kind of fall off so I'll probably put some debris around that corner right there to make it look like it's starting to collapse in on itself and then up here I've got um, an interesting kind of blown out thing I'm gonna change it but I found uh, what is it? these pieces right here um, and I put it up here so I thought that'd be cool um, so I'm gonna mess around with that because I do like um, that shape of the Lego that Lego parts for a destroyed thing so I'm gonna mess around with this because I don't really like how that corner looks of it but I wanted to mess around with that piece anyway because I wanted to add some more blown out um, kind of destroyed parts of this building and then over here you can see I'm starting to do the same over there so that's what I'm gonna do next and I'll update you guys on that here's what it looks like over here now you can see what I mean by it's starting to come together uh, and looks more kind of hopefully it looks more like an actual building instead of just a bunch of random parts on the ground so uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and touch up that thing in the left corner uh, down over here I'm gonna finish that up touch it up a bit and then I might add the same two down here on the right like make it taller I'm just not too sure because I do like the way that bottom right looks but this building's been a little bit of a struggle so I am kind of experimenting on the way trying to make this one different from the other ones uh, but still fit that same kind of as that same um, design as the other buildings so it seems like it all fits together in the same village I don't want to make each of the buildings you know com look completely different from the other because it's supposed to look very similar since it's kind of this one area of the village so hopefully it looks a little better here with this new addition to the destroyed building all right, so I did a little bit more work here on the main road. You saw previously that it kind of went off this way uh, into that building. Now I went ahead and had it go over to this way and had it connect to what eventually will be uh, the larger scaled building uh, for this build. So you can see now it goes all the way over there. And then the next step is to start from over here at the dock section and make it go all the way through here and connect up with the main path. Uh, and then the path will pretty much be done. So now here's what the village is looking like with uh, the road getting closer and closer to completion uh, and I'm pretty happy with it so far. I think it just adds a good element uh, to the build here especially now that it goes through um, almost the entire mock here which I think is a nice touch and I think that will just add a uh, new element to it um, but before that I gotta finish I gotta finish it first obviously so I've got to make it connect over to the docks area and then after that, the path will be pretty much done. So hopefully uh, that will look good. Uh, we shall see. All right, so uh, I made the path go all the way over to the dock section and connect back up here with the main path. Uh, so what's gonna happen here is as I build this building, um, like over here, 
this is probably going to change a little bit because depending on what kind of like type of door or entrance I make for the building, same with this over here, this will probably either change a little bit or go farther just depending on what this building is going to look like and I don't know exactly um, what it's going to look like until I really get into uh, the building process uh, for constructing this building here. So for now, this just kind of gives you an idea of what the road is supposed to look like here and then once I start on this uh, building over here, some of this will change and kind of uh, evolve into what fits best for this village area. Alright guys, so the path now goes all the way from the mountain here and all the way over and into the village portion where it splits off into multiple different paths, um, just like what I was kind of hoping for here. So overall, I think I'm happy with it right now. Uh, most likely once I finish these last few structures, the path will kind of change and form around the remaining structures to make it feel a little more natural. Right now it's just kind of uh, lined up where I want it to be, and then I'll just finish everything once I get those other two buildings completely built and finished, and then the path will be looking um, really, really good and uh, pretty much done. So for now, I'll put the path at like a 85 to 90% done at this point. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I've had a lot of fun building this path. I'm really glad um, that I decided to kind of move it into the village and keep it throughout the whole path. And I'm not sure if I really would have done that without a lot of, a lot of your guys' feedback on that because I asked you guys um, if you thought I should, you know, just keep it at the mountain um, or like keep it out here or should I make it go into the village and a lot of you guys said to make it go into the village. So I uh, just want to give you guys a quick shout out and thank you for that. Um, I don't know if the path would kind of be where it's at today if I didn't get some uh, great feedback from you guys on if the path should continue into the village area or not. So thank you for that. Um, thank you for all the feedback, of course. Uh, it really, really does help when I'm kind of uh, building this thing along here, trying to take into consideration a lot of the feedback that you guys um, have been giving me so I definitely always appreciate that um, but for now here is the path and um, I'm excited to kind of put the finishing touches on it throughout the remaining episodes all right and I'll just take you guys through here fairly quickly as I kind of show you a different angle for the path here a little bit closer uh, to the actual ground here's just a quick look at all the little details all over the place on this build uh, for the path here mixing both the tiles and a bunch of studs and everything like that to create this kind of medieval textured path on the road. So, yep, just want to give you a little different angle here uh, to kind of show you guys what exactly the road looks like um, kind of almost at eye level. So there's that look right here. And here is a look at the entire uh, path kind of as a long overview here. This is what it's looking like. It's kind of hard to get it all in frame, but hopefully that gives you guys a good look at what the path looks like from kind of like a somewhat far away um, vantage point, kind of overlooking the whole entire mock. Uh, this is what it's looking like. So, um, yep, definitely happy with the path overall. All right, guys, before the video ends here, I wanted to talk about what I have planned for the rest of the village because I've kind of thought of some more things that I kind of want to do here. Since we're getting close to finishing the village here, obviously there's still a lot to do, but here's the plan. So we've got all these structures over here pretty much um, built, some destroyed ones and then kind of a more intact one. Now that I look at these, um, all these other buildings um, together and the new one over there, I think I want to add some more battle damage to that. So that's something I will be, I think, going back in and adding some battle damage. Now I was going to have a building right here. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do that anymore. I was kind of looking through some more Stalingrad pictures and I remember there's one specific image that I was trying to find of a fountain. It's like a bunch of uh, kids kind of on a fountain. It's like a st uh, statue, kind of like in a fountain kind of area. Um, it's got like a bunch of like, it's kind of like got kids in a circle and then there's like, I think an alligator or something in the middle. And it's kind of like this very famous picture from Stalingrad with like all the destroyed buildings around this like very um, kind of uh, the, near the fountain. It's just a really eerie and, and weird um, and kind of creepy image, but still very powerful. So. I kind of want to build some sort of fountain or courtyard right here. Um, I'm going to try to figure out a way to make some sort of kind of fountain structure or a statue. Uh, that's going to be really hard, so that's kind of what I want to do. If not, then make I'll make this kind of like a courtyard area instead of another building. I think I want to 
I don't really want to think another building will be any more unique than these other ones. So I want to build something different here. And I think either a statue, a fountain, or like a courtyard area uh, is the way to go for this portion over here. And it will kind of be the center of the whole village. Um, as you come down here, you can see this is kind of the center area uh, compared to everything else. So I want this to kind of stand out and be the center of the village area. Now, lastly, for this building over here, I wanted this to be the, bi the biggest building in the entire mock. Uh, I still want to do that. For this one, uh, what I want to do is just make it a large structure, but it's been very, very battle damaged, and each of the floors are kind of destroyed and the walls are gone. So what I kind of want to do is have some kind of firefights going from each of the hallways. Um, so like, say one floor um, is kind of starting to collapse and maybe there's like a clone trooper who's like about to fall off the edge and he's kind of sliding down. And then, you know, maybe another trooper's kind of grabbing him, trying to hold on to him to make sure he doesn't fall down to the bottom floor. And then at the, all the while, while that's going on, um, there will be, the clones will be taking fire from different levels of the building. So you have multiple destroyed parts of the building and they'll kind of be engaging each other from multiple different levels. Uh, so hopefully that will be really, really cool. You'll kind of just get a very chaotic feel to it, and this building hopefully will be fairly tall, so you'll have a couple different floors, um, maybe three floors if I uh, have enough pieces left for it, where there's kind of three different levels, but it's so kind of blown out and destroyed that you can, the, the clones and the separatists can kind of be fighting each other from like the top level and the bottom level, like shooting up at each other. I think it's just going to be pure chaos in this building, um, kind of destroyed in a very large structure. So that's kind of the plan right now. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to building that one. I'm just trying to make sure I have enough parts to actually do what I want to do, like uh, the vision I have for this building. I want to make sure that I have enough parts uh, to complete that. So that's kind of the next part of the village, guys, which will be, like I said, that kind of courtyard area with maybe a fountain. And then lastly, I think we'll probably move on to this big building right here because it's going to be uh, the hardest and probably the most complex. So that is the plan for the rest of the village here. Hope you guys are excited. If you have any other cool ideas, definitely leave them in the comment section below. I've been getting like a lot of really good suggestions on the village, so thank you guys for that. Um, it definitely helps me like with the creative process trying to figure out uh, what I want to build uh, with the village. So thank you guys for that, um, and I hope you guys enjoy this episode and we'll move on to the outro. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, my apologies for maybe it didn't seem like there was a whole lot of progress today. Um, that was just because uh, these episodes, I am only able to record them when I'm home now since the semester has started for college. So when I come back uh, every once in a while, uh, come back home, I have to kind of dedicate a lot of time to um, obviously building, but there's also a lot of other things um, that I would I, that I like to do uh, with hanging out and family and everything like that when I get back. I usually only have like two-ish days um, like on the weekend by the time I get back um, to my hometown. I only have like two-ish days to build and make an episode so it's kind of hard to get a lot of progress done because I do like to take my time on a lot of the building stuff and can really make sure that it kind of looks good and try to go through multiple different design phases and that's all kind of a little bit hard to do in like two days. Um, so these next few episodes might not seem like there's a whole lot of major, major progress. It'll be a lot of smaller things and smaller tasks that I can do um, in like the two days that I'm home for the weekend. But uh, hopefully you guys don't mind. Again, my apologies for that. But nonetheless, uh, getting the road almost done today and adding this new structure, I think, in the village is also a really cool thing. And I'm happy that I was able to do some of that. Now I'm going to uh, post the video and see what you guys think and read through your comments and see if you guys have any really cool uh, feedback or anything like that or cool ideas. So of course, definitely leave all that in the comment section below. Any feedback, any cool ideas, anything like that, leave them in the comment section below and I'll definitely be reading through those. And I hope you guys have a great day and may the force be with you always.